incredibly special day, huh guys? Wow, this room has so many memories. And as we reflect on God's faithfulness in the years gone by, you know, we can't help but think of some of the pastors that God has used to lead our South Naperville campus. Uh, called 111th and called 95th. In fact, some of those names were used by leaders who wanted to give a little shout out of their excitement for this great moment. And so let's, let's hear from some of the past pastors of our campus. Compass Church, congratulations to all of you. Great job. You now have a permanent home there on 59. I remember when we started out at the 95th campus, what we call it there on 95th. We had a great team. It was our first venture into multi-signing. We didn't know what we were doing, but God blessed and we had great leaders there. And so now I'm so proud of all of you, Pastor Jeff, and the great job you're doing and how God's going to change the South of Naperville because you guys have a place to call your own. And from that place, God's gonna do awesome things. Congratulations. Hey, Compass Church. So excited to celebrate with you at this very special time, even if from afar. My name is Rich Sanford, and my wife Laura and I are missionary partners with the Compass Church out in Salt Lake City, Utah. Before we moved to Utah, I was given the great privilege of serving the Compass Church as a pastor, and even got to start the first multi-site as the campus pastor of what was then our 111th campus, became the 95th Street campus, and is now the South Neighborville campus. For those who may remember, we began that journey by launching services in Crone Middle School on 111th Street. But when we went to do that, we began with a vision to reach a large area of the southwest corner of Naperville and beyond that we believed was inadequately reached by Christian churches so far. Out of a great desire to spread the gospel and to see our God honored, uh, we had families who sacrificed to go make that happen with a future plan of someday purchasing property building a beautiful campus there in order to do ministry for many years to come. It's especially exciting then for us to get to observe what's taking place now in the South Naperville area, uh, a vision that began and was developed and grew and now is becoming a reality. We pray that God uses the South Naperville campus to continue to advance his kingdom in this age and that more and more people will come to saving faith in Jesus and give praise to him. So congratulations, Compass Church. This is an awesome thing to celebrate. Our God is good, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. God bless. Well, hello, South Neighborville. My name is Brett Lilly, currently lead pastor at New Life Church in Woodbury, Minnesota. But for over a decade, the Compass Church was my home. My wife and I grew up there spiritually. We had our first kid there, and then the next two after that. It's a place that we remember fondly, starting at Hobson and then to 111th. And then for five years, I had the chance of being the campus pastor there at 95th, which is now South Naperville. It was because of what happened at the Compass Church that God moved us here and provided an opportunity for us to be where we're at now, loving life, on fire for the Lord, and excited to see God continue to do the same thing at the Compass in this new location. Looking forward to hearing stories of how people are fired up to go and reach the world with the message of Jesus Christ. But you know, for a number of years, it was exciting to be there because I wasn't there just by myself with my family, but there was somebody else that was there with me. Oh, hello everyone. You probably don't know me. You might. I'm Grant. Brett and I are actually brothers. And I was there, the youth pastor, for four years. A lot has changed in my life. We had one daughter there in Illinois. And now we have four daughters, which is super exciting. But I just wanted to say super appreciative to the Compass Church and the four years that we were there. Love every single one of you. Super excited to hear what God continues to do through the Compass Church. We can't wait to hear all the great stories that come from the new location. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Love those guys dearly. And God, we thank you for the faithful leaders who have been a part of leading this campus. And I wanted to add a little memory of my own, if I could. I recall the incredible movement of God in my heart in this room. Don't, don't tell the other campuses this, but it was here at South Naperville that I really realized for the first time, I'm at home. Before an invitation for me to be a, a pastor here was extended, I, I snuck down to the Compass Church, wanted to check it out. 
And it was while I was here in the back, you know, just part of the congregation, no one knew who I was. I was being led by worship by Rachel and team. And God's spirit just moved so powerfully in this room. I was moved to tears as I felt the glory of God in this place, as I felt the enthusiastic love for the Lord by the congregants in this place, as I felt the power of God's spirit moving through Rachel's leadership. I just sat in the back row and I worshiped the Lord and felt a, I'm at home, a sense that this was where God wanted me. And it was a special moment between the Lord and I, and I suppose with his congregation in this room. The Lord's done a lot of beautiful ministry in the hearts of people in this room. And today we reflect on them and we give him thanks for his faithfulness, even as we anticipate the best days yet to come.